Welcome to my fourth tutorial about SCM coding. In this tutorial I'm going to explain how to create a special actor like Sweet or like Gandal. We will use the code we made last time because it looks a bit li like this. And then we will already have the coordinates and uh, the nearby loop. We won't use this. This time it, it is uh, the same as we... Um, it is the same for special actors as for normal actors we uh, we made last time. So I will delete this. And then um first of all we have to load the special actor. But it is a different opcode. So here we see load special actor. We will use it instead of the 0247. So in this case we are uh, loading Tenpenny. Th this is uh, his name, and um, you you have to use a number behind it, and you have ten different places where you can uh, load a special actor. So if you want to uh, load two special actors, you have to use it like this. Of course, with a different uh, person. But we will only make one. Um, to uh, find this name, you can go to the Sunny Wilder help files, to uh, SCM documentation, GTS and Rias, and then uh, special actors. Here, here you will see a list of special actors and the description uh, of the special actor's name. And there are uh, quite a few special actors. In this case we are going to use Sweet, so you can find it here, it's in this case the same as um, as his name, but that isn't uh, the case for all the special actors. Then of course you have to check if it's loaded, this is also a different opcode, so you will see it here special actor one loaded so this number has to be the same as in the um, the load special actor opcode so if you use two here you have to use two there too so um then this isn't a lot different you have to use special and then a number for example uh zero one if you have one here or 0, 2 if you uh, uh, loaded it in the special actor in 2 and um, and then it's already finished so it looks a lot like um, like the normal actors you just have to know how to do it after you loaded a model and used it you have to unload it, unload it. I didn't mention that last uh, last tutorial, but I can uh, do it in this tutorial. So you have to unload special actor again. You have to use the number which you have used in uh, the other opcodes too. And then we can uh, check if it uh, if we made a good script. And there he is. So and now um, he looks at the uh, other um, at another house. So if we want him to look at the Johnson's house, we have to change his angle. And um, then you can you can use the coordinates chords tool. So you have to stand the way you want him to watch, and then you have to use the uh, chords manager and here you will find the angle so you can search in the opcode search tool to angle actor and then you will find here the opcode you are you have to use for that so if we copy this to and of course you have to change the name too 
then we compile it again and reload our save game then a uh, sweet has turned to the Johnson's house so um now we will we will give it him a weapon so um the you have to search to in the opcode search tool for weapon and actor and here you will see the opcode 01b2 and we are going to use that so change this to add into one add and then you have to give him a weapon so you can see behind this the command command uh, load the weapon before using this so we have to to load it and loading weapons is the same as loading normal actors and weapons so we will search for load model 0247 and then we have to change this into the model we want so for example the mp5 and then we have to use the 0248 opcode again and that is model available so we will use and so we will uh, type here again the model we are using so here you will have to use the model name but here you will have to use another uh, thing the number so you can find that number into the sandy builder help files uh, here you can find weapon numbers and you will see all the weapons with the model the model ID, the name, the weapon group and the number we have to use. So if we are searching for MP5, it's here. The model is MP5 like this. So we already use that here. And the number we have to use is 29. So we have to change this into 29. And then of course we have to um, we have to unload the model and normal models you have to unload with release model to test it and the game would probably crash because here we have an if loop and uh, like this it's only right um, when you have only one condition and we have two conditions here so we have to use and behind it so the compiler knows that there are two um, that there are two conditions the player or the game has to fulfill until um, you can go out of this loop so if you want only one of these two um, to be um, right then you have to use or then it will only wait until one of these uh, conditions will be uh, fulfilled but we will use of course and because both uh, models ha has to be loaded before uh, it can continue so now we will use the compiled copy to go to uh, to the game and we will reload our save game and then switch should be with a weapon and there you are so um, this was uh, the fourth tutorial about SCM coding I hope uh, you enjoyed it and learned something from it too thank you for watching